Good morning. So this is how I survived the 80s. It's morning time. I just had my shower and got dressed. And I'm dedicating this video this morning to you elderly people out there. And I don't know what age that entails, whether it's well, if you're elderly, it's for you, and possibly for you that plan to make it to be elderly, are hoping to be elderly, are going to be. So, I always think every decade has its plus, pluses and minuses. And this decade, I found one of the minuses to also be a plus. Your, your body has a way of remembering all of the <laughs> bruises and bumps and breaks that you acquire in a lifetime. And for me, it's two areas. Uh, one knee, this knee, and I was in my 70s, and me and the goats. I had a little, well, anyway, I tore my menisca up trying to get all of my goats out of the milk room that were trying to get into their goody barrel. So, and I loved my goats. I milked Katie for three years straight. No break. She just milked and milked and um, she was a sweetheart. And then there was Jilly and Punky. But anyway, I love my goats. And then, the other one is something to my right hip. So I've got two things going here. And, and I'm not, I'm not going to get them replaced. They're not that bad. I mean, I can do everything I want to do with this knee. And I'm listening to Jim Wilson. And I hope he's really <laughs> got it together here about regenerating because I'm hoping one morning you'll see when I go to put on my socks what happens and I call it my warm-up but uh, my hip and I'm not sure I can't pinpoint it I, I think I have it between two times once when Gandalf the buck he was a boar buck he was a huge boar buck people used to come and say what kind of an animal is that it's a goat. Oh, I've never seen a goat that big. And he was so gentle. He was a sweetheart. But one spring, early summer probably, it was time for him to date the girls. And I went to open the gate. And somehow there wasn't quite enough room for this large goat to get out fast enough. And me, too. He didn't knock me over but I can remember it took me six weeks before my hip stopped hurting. And then, it could have been then, or it could have been the sheep. Oh, <laughs> I, the sheep had me down more than once. And then there was bad bed. Oh, I love, oh, and the sheep were my favorites. If I was young enough, still, I'd have sheep. But the sheep were my favorites, and there was Babette. I got her, as, I, I bought her. She did, wasn't born on our place, and she was a, a French Rambouillet. That's sort of like um, Merino, only she was French. And her wool was very soft, uh, nice wool, but she only needed to be sheared about every other year. But when we first got her and it was coming up to her shearing time and it would be her prime wool and she didn't want to get caught. And <laughs> there was Tom, there was the shearer, and me. And we just went around and went around to try to get her where we could get her to the shearer. And finally, I thought I had her but she knocked me over and I got up and I finally got my hands on her and I wouldn't let her go and then she got cheered 
And uh, the next day when I went to feed the sheep, lo and behold, Babette walks up to me and wants me to put my hand on her again. And we bonded. And she was a sweetheart. She was just always there to be loved and petted. So I remember these things <laughs> when I have trouble with some of these areas. But I would like them to finally regenerate. And um, so I'm going to show you. No problem. Get on my shoe. And then there's this one. Okay, we are ready. Okay, no problem. But now there is a problem because I cannot reach clear down to get the shoe sock on. And I, I want to do it myself. So here we go. And I'm hoping someday it will regenerate and I can do it. But in the meantime, we go like that, and I look, I made these socks, so they're nice to work with. And I can get them on. Okay, there we are. Both socks, voila. And here we go, the shoes. And I love these shoes because they are so easy to get on most of the time. It's just that straps now goes the wrong way again for my hip. I can feel it, but not all that bad. But someday I'm going to make it where I can just put on my sock just the normal way. And you know, it's important. Just think. I don't want to have to... I want to be able to do that. It's just a little thing, but to survive and really be self-sufficient, you got to put on your own socks. So that's how my day starts, and it's a good start that I got them both on, and I got dressed, I got a shower, and I'm ready to go. So this is Surviving the 80s, and I hope you do it well.